Here in Boulder, the Buffaloes stretched to four sets by Oregon State, finally able to dispatch the Beavers, winning 25-18, 25-23 in the final two sets. Jason Abbott and Dane Blanton, we called it for Pac-12 Networks. Mary-Kate Marshall, second in kills per set in the Pac-12, doing her usual yeoman's work. Yeah, she came out of the blocks on fire, 18 kills. She hit 250 and, and doing her thing, so consistent. But it was Lila Toner with 14 kills, hitting 243. A big surprise, she's got a heavy arm. And when they needed her, they went to her. But it just wasn't enough for the Beavers because on the other side of the net, Stephanie Shadley, she stepped up. She was everywhere. When her number was called, she was ready to put that ball to the ground. You see the big smile, that tells it all. And then Jocelyn Hayes, we discovered something about her. Her little kick move after putting that ball away. Something special, bringing some emotion to the team. And she was a firecracker here tonight. You look at the overall numeric picture from this one. Again, OSU took advantage of some great play in the second set and some Buffalo miscues. And then the Buffs kind of showed what they are when they play well. They're one of the best teams in the conference. They've showed that with wins over the likes of UCLA and Washington State in conference, and they got it done when they needed to. Yeah, CU stepped up. They hit 234. That was a big difference. But look at those blocks. You know, the Beavers, they can block at the net. That's a huge positive they should take out of this match. And they have a lot of potential. Their record doesn't quite reflect how good they are. 12 wins overall for the Buffs, now 4-5 and five in league play. Oregon State. Now one and eight in conference. Tough one for the Beavs. They give it their all, but a little bit short here in Colorado. For Dane Blanton, this is Jason Epps saying so long for now.